You would be making all of these choices. This little hand will represent your hand, this will represent your pocket, and this will represent your table. I have here some, a packet of gum. All you have to do is choose any color at all that you want. Now you're gonna do this and you're not gonna show me. So I'm going to turn around as you take any one at all that you want. And whenever you take it, just go ahead and place it on your hand. So place it on the hand on the card there and then take any other color, choose a different color this time, and you're gonna place that, let's say, in your pocket. So put that in your pocket, and then take another different color, and we'll put that one on the table. Okay, so think about this. You could have taken any one of these. There's no way I could have known which one you took or where they would end up. Yet you chose, if you look down here, you'll see that on the hand you have blue, and check it out. <laughs> we have blue right there in the pocket. We have green and also green and on the table There's a black piece of gum and it matches Perfectly and this is not the only thing you could do as you could see we're predicting the choices of the spectators But you can also influence them or even read the spectators mind and everything is happening with this little tiny secret device which by the way it's also gonna let you do peaks. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Javier Fuenmayer and I have been getting a lot of requests to do mentalism tutorials even when I'm already teaching a mentalism trick. Comment down below what is your go-to magic trick when somebody asks you, hey, show me a trick. I wanna know what it is that you guys love performing. I started going down the route of a Visa Cabaret style effect with colored paper clips, but then I noticed I still had a ton of gum from previous tricks and then it hit me. I wanted to do a Visa Cabaret style routine utilizing gum. I went through simple and complicated ways of doing the gimmick, working in different ways until I finally arrived at this. So this is what we're gonna learn how to make right now. You can apply the same concept I'm using here for the five gum to any type of gum that you may have in your country in case you don't have these five where you're at. Just apply the same method to your style of gum pack and and everything will work the same. To make the gimmick, the first thing we're gonna do is take out all of the little pieces of gum that you see here. Once you take those out, I like to just put my finger in and I twist the papers from the inside. Here I have three different colors. At the end, I will show you how you can get away with all of them being exactly the same. But all I'm gonna do is cut off just a little bit of each of those. Before I do that, I'm just going to save one of them so it stays safe, then I'm going to cut three of each color. Now we're gonna do the same thing to each one. So I'm gonna take one strip and two strips, roughly the size of the pack or the little gum stick. I'm gonna stick it, then we'll place one directly on top, and then we do the same thing and place that directly on top. Once we have the blocks of three, now we're going to tape them together side by side. All I do is I line them up, I put a piece of tape across the bottom part of where they are, we'll turn it over, and then we do the same exact thing. If you're going to be using your gimmick a lot, I also recommend you take a piece of tape and close the exposed part of the gum, just like this. Then we'll take some double-sided stick tape and we'll put some right on the back. This is going to help us stick it to the case. I'm going to set this to the side while we prep these three cards. What we want to do is make them slightly shorter than the width of that piece of gum. You're going to take one of them and start rolling it up. Basically, we're going to just make a little circle with that card. You want to get uh, maybe two inches worth of tape and then we're going to tape it and then wrap it around the back on the other side. What we're doing is just holding that card in place. We'll then take another little piece and do the same thing just to secure that card there. We're then going to take the second card, or I should say the third, and roll that one up in the same way. Once it becomes small, we can then take another piece of maybe two inches of tape. We'll squeeze that down and this will place directly underneath. We're gonna then push 
the tape all the way around, get another piece of tape, and again, secure that little ramp, I should say. Once you have those there, you can then go ahead and cut down the middle of that card. And you're going to set this aside. Now we're gonna take the piece that has the double-sided tape or block of gum, and we're going to place that right inside of the packet of gum that we're trying to gimmick. We'll slide it inside, and once it's right at the top, we can then go ahead and push down a little bit to make that double-sided stick tape stick those blocks of gum where they need to go. Now, as you see, those won't slide down even if I shake it. Now we're gonna cut a little portion of the box away and to know how much, you can simply place three pieces of gum on top. All you need to make sure is that your hole is big enough to cover the three pieces of gum. Notice how much I'm cutting here. I'm, a, I'm taking almost, I would say, a centimeter and a half or half an inch. I'm just going to cut down here like this, and then I'm going to go straight down, and then again straight down on that side. What this is basically doing is just cutting a little section at the bottom of the gum packet. Once I have the hole, if you notice, the problem is those little sticks go inside, and then on the other side, they're all the way against the top. So you would technically, if you wanted to know which one has been removed, you would have to stick your fingers all the way inside. That is the reason we made this little tiny device. What this is going to do now is if we place it inside of this section here, this is going to act as a little roof. Now that that ramp is there, when we place the packs of gum inside, the little ramp is going to push the pieces of gum closer to the top of this, which means if your fingers are there, any which one that gets taken out, you can immediately feel it being removed. Now, if you do this, you're good to go. All you have to do is just don't show this side to your spectators, only show them this one. You can, of course, hide it like this, and then they won't see anything as you display this. But if you want to make it even more hidden, where you can legitimately display the front and the back, and you still are going to have access to that, all I did is I took this gimmick and I put magnets on each of those four corners, and then those match up with magnets inside of the case in there. The other thing I did is I also placed the magnets so that when I slide up, they also lock in place. As you can see, this from this side looks completely normal, unless the gum falls from underneath. But that is basically the little hiding part of the gimmick if you wanna make it ultra super deceptive. Just make sure when you set it up, you set it up with the little thing in front of the wrappers so that they're not exposed. To do a Visa Cabaret style routine, you could have a prediction of where each of the gums will end up. For instance, the black will go on the table, the blue will be left in the hand, and the green will be in the pocket. But this could be, the green could be in the right pocket, and the blue could be in the left pocket, and the black could be under the phone, or anywhere at all that you want. The way we do this is just by having the spectator, secretly without telling us, take any color at all they want, from behind our back. Of course, we have it set up so that we can feel which gum they're going to take. And the moment we know which one they're taking, we continue our sentence to let them know where it is we want them to take or place that piece of gum. For example, it would look something like this. Imagine I'm turning around and I would tell you, go ahead and take whichever piece of gum at all that you want and go ahead and place it on the table. The moment you start to feel that they're taking that black, you know in our case, the black is gonna go on the table. So that's what you tell them. You make it seem like you never broke away from your sentence, so that it feels like it flew and that's what you were gonna say from the very beginning. With the other colors, we do the exact same thing. We just tell them to take a new color. That way, they don't accidentally try to take another black one or another one that they've already taken, and then they'll get in contact with our gimmick. Once you've done all three, you reveal your prediction to be 100% correct. Your prediction could be like we showed you on a little card here, just like this, but it could also be as a picture, as a note, or you could even have the gums in the same place you had your spectator place them. That way you do a matching reveal when they 
pull out a gum from the right pocket. You also do the same and it matches the color and that happens with all three pieces of gum. You can also use this gimmick as mind reading so you can have each of, let's say, three spectators secretly take a piece of gum each. You could then reveal through mind reading which of the flavors it is that they're thinking of. Because we have different flavors, you could reveal those minty, cinnamon, almost like fiery, or even fruity. And having those different flavors as reveals can enhance the mentalism or the magic that you're doing. Also, with a little bit of thought, you could turn this routine so it's more of an influence style of presentation that you use. I'm sure there's tons of different things that we can do with this, including most likely we can even get a peek. So we could use this device as a little peek device as well. Remember, you could use any style of gum that you may have available near you. Just apply the concept in this gimmick with your gum. Another thing, if you don't have different colors of gums like this, you can very simply use the same one over and over, but instead of actually having a piece of gum inside, what I've done is I've placed a piece of cardboard with the reveal. So when they take it and they put it in their pocket, when they remove it and they open it up, it'll say left pocket, which is exactly where they just got it from. If you like this type of content and you want to see more after this video, go check out my channel. I have lots of videos where I turned everyday objects into cool little tiny gimmicks that you can use as your everyday carry. I wanna thank you so much for your time. I'm Javier Fuenmayer. Make sure you comment down below letting me know what is your go-to magic trick when people ask you, hey, show me a trick. I wanna thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you next week on Monday.